Howdy, welcome to today's Todd's Tips. Today I wanted to tell you the story of the two bakers. Now this was on a high street, imagine a high street for me, and there were two bakers. So just like any normal high street in any normal town. These two bakers were identical for the purpose of this story. They made the same bread, it was great bread. They made the same cakes. Every Friday they'd have special offers, and at Easter they'd make freshly baked hot cross buns. Yummy. They're exactly the same. Nothing set them apart, apart from one thing. Every morning, Bob the baker used to come out of his bakery while his pies were baking and his bread was rising, and he'd stand on the, on the front of his shop and just say hello to people. Morning, Susan. Hi, Steve. Well, you're running, you're late for the bus. Don't worry, there's another one coming. He would just chat to people, He'd talk to them about current affairs, stuff that made him chuckle. He'd share news. He was quite knowledgeable in his town. The other baker just stayed inside and baked his bread. Now imagine if you bought bread and one day you wanted to go and buy some hot cross buns. Which baker would you buy them from? Would you buy them from the baker you'd never seen, who hid behind his shop? Or would you buy them from the baker that chatted to you about train times, things that happened in the news? Nothing to do with bread, but it's everything to do with the relationship building. Social media is very much like that. For me, Bob the baker is on social media and Steve the baker isn't. Which baker do you want to be? One that no one talks to and hides behind the facade of their big brand and their shop. Or one that comes out and talks and chats to people. Social media works when you use it properly. It's great for relationship building. That's today's Todd's Tips. I'll see you next time. Cheers.